We have to differentiate uh, vulnerable brand disease from pernal cellular syndrome. From pernal cellular syndrome. Pernal cellular syndrome and vulnerable brand disease uh, have the similar picture of the platelet aggregation status. In pernal cellular syndrome, there is a deficiency of glycoprotein 1P, which is a receptor for vulnerable brand factor. So, deficiency of glycoprotein 1P in the pernal cellular or deficiency of vulnerable brand factor in the vulnerable brand disease will lead to the similar pictures in the platelet aggregation studies. So platelet aggregation studies will be the same in both disease, pernal cellular syndrome and uh, vulnerable brand uh, uh, factor deficient or vulnerable brand disease. So we have to look for correction of the reduced restocetin. The similarity in reduction on the uh, restocetin induced platelet aggregation, the aggregation study. You can revise the uh, platelet aggregation studies in both pernal cellular syndrome and vulnerable brand disease. You will find the same picture. Talk. How to differentiate between pernal cellular syndrome and vulnerable brand disease. Pernal cellular syndrome can be uh, corrected, corrected by addition of normal platelet because the defect is in the platelet receptor glycoprotein 1P receptor. While vulnerable brand disease, the correction will occur by addition of normal plasma because the defect is in the vulnerable brand factor in the plasma. Uh, another disease is called hemorrhagic disease of newborn or HDN. HDN, newborn. Uh, newborn in the first few days, uh, mainly on uh, breast fit, uh, with vitamin K deficiency because deficiency of the breast fit in the uh, vitamin K, uh, low vitamin K in breast milk, immaturity of the liver, as we mentioned, and the no gut bacteria flora which synthesizes the active form of vitamin K. Absence of vitamin K leading to absence of the vitamin K dependent factor 2, 7, 9, 10, leading to prolongation of the coagulation test PT and ABTT, uh, test for the extrinsic and test for the intrinsic pathway. Uh, the treatment of this condition will be by vitamin K, intramuscular injection, if severe, we give the baby fresh frozen plasma in order to give him the uh, factors 2, 7, 9, 10. Prevention or prophylaxis by giving vitamin K to babies to prevent HDN. So HDN, it is a hemorrhagic disease. Hemorrhagic disease is bleeding disorder from many sites uh, in the baby in the first few days due to vitamin K deficiency. Hemostatic disorder in liver disease. In the liver disease, we have abnormal bleeding due to deficiency of most of coagulation factors. And some uh, liver diseases presented with DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, combination uh, thrombosis and bleeding. Thrombosis and bleeding, both of them. Clots and bleeding, DIC. Uh, DIC, we mentioned DIC before, so now we will know what is DIC, what DIC disseminated, D, disseminated, disseminated means widespread, generalized, activation of the coagulation, activation of coagulation means that there is intravascular formation of fibrin, intravascular uh, fibrin formation, so intravascular, here intravascular fibrin formation, this is disseminated, this is I, in intravascular and uh, intravascular formation of fibrin leading to thrombus, thrombotic occlusion of the small blood vessel, Sp thrombotic occlusion of the small blood vessel, thrombus formation, uh, contribute to multiple organ failure. How to contribute to mul multiple organ failure? By obstruction, obstruction uh, to the uh, organ, to the blood supply of the organ leading to uh, organ failure and metabolic complications or consequence of this failure. 
renal failure, liver cell failure, uh, heart failure, uh, any organ failure. So it is widespread activation of coagulation, including the widespread activation coagulation factor, widespread platelet aggregation, uh, uh, leading to formation of microsorumpi, microsorumpi, uh, here a lot of the clotting factors and the platelets with consumption of the clotting factor no, decreasing in the clotting factor in the blood, the consumption of platelet decreasing in the platelet and the increase in the FEDBs come from activation of fibrinolytic system leading to uh, release of fibrin degradation products due to activation of fibrinolytic system fibrinolytic system increase in the fibrinolytic system activity. depletion of platelet and the clotting factor due to consumption uh, depletion of the platelet and clotting factor widespread leading to widespread bleeding severe bleeding so it is a very severe condition of the thrombotic and the bleeding so we have both thrombosis or clots and the bleeding and organ failure 